Alright, I'm here today to teach y'all how to light a fire the old-fashioned way. That's right, you know, people use matches and kindling and all this fancy, you know, fire logs and stuff and, and you know, tinder and stuff, but let me show you how to do it. First of all, you got to stack your wood right. You got to make a pile of small sticks, have some bigger logs handy. And get yourself some dried out uh, evergreen leaves like right there see those those they're they're all kind of reddish brown that's because they've been down for a while and starting to dry out and they burn pretty easy you get that stuff together and that makes it a whole lot easier well here is where the lesson begins because you know all that part about the tender and the kindling and stuff but what you really need to do to get a fire going and make it successful is a little bit of accelerant. Yeah, that's right. Like gasoline. That's right. This is some old saw gas that doesn't work anymore because it's all spent. Just put a little bit on there. That enough? You think that's enough? No, I don't think so. Let's put a little more. But don't use it all because you need a little bit for some other part here. Okay, now you just let that kind of soak in there. Okay, you got to prepare the match because with gasoline you know it has a tendency to light rather rapidly so you got to do it right so you're gonna need your pocket knife it works pretty good and you're gonna need a stick you take your pocket knife and you make yourself a little cut right there just split that stick right down the middle make a nice little split in it see like that that split, then you get yourself a rag, and you, you stick it down in that split, right like that. Get your gas, you put just a little bit of fuel on the rag, see, like this. Now don't try this at home because only a fool would do this. Okay, now that I have placed the gasoline a safe distance away, I got my lighter and I light my rag on fire. Now I have a torch. See? Fire lit. Problem solved. Nobody hurt. Never ever try this at home. I mean, really. This was dumb. I am, in fact, a trained idiot. I learned everything I know about fire and explosives from my Uncle Stumpy. And you don't have an Uncle Stumpy now, do you?